Williams here and today I want to talk about panic attacks and the feelings that you have in your body. Sometimes people feel a need to know, do you get pins and needles here? Do you get this turning feeling there? Do you get this pain in your one side? And it's almost like we need to know that we're not alone, that somebody else is experiencing the same sensations that we are. But ultimately, if you spend time analysing what's going on, then it doesn't help you to overcome the panic. I like to give an example of somebody who came to me who used to have this pain that was like electricity shooting down her leg. And she'd been through every doctor imaginable and they couldn't find anything wrong with it. And all I did is because she said it was like electricity, in trance I got her to imagine that we had the electricians come in and they started to add you know, the thick grey insulating uh, tape to the outside of it because it was, as she said, like this electricity going through um, and I visualised that as like a copper cable that she was feeling everything and so if we insulated it then it naturally would take down the sensations and this is exactly what happened. It felt like it was neutralised to a 2 out of a 10 and then she forgot about it because she stopped paying attention to it. Now if you keep looking for pins and needles and aware of them then you'll keep sort of coming back to that and thinking well, why is this happening? It's just your body's way of, of saying that something's not quite right. The adrenaline is firing off and it's creating a feeling in that part of your body. And so whatever sensations that you're creating what would you have to do to move on? What could you imagine? Maybe something cushioning it or some energy washing through to wash it out rather than it staying there. And so that you can move on from this feeling rather than stay stuck in it. And I do a countdown on my um, Stop Panic Attack um, recording which basically gets you to measure, I'll do it now, um, out of 10, out of 10, how high is this feeling? And so what would you need to do or imagine to take it down a couple of points? Well, if it's all these sort of stabbing sensations, imagine a cushion there and maybe take 10 deep breaths. And after you've taken the 10 deep breaths, where's it dropped down to? Is it dropped down to like an eight? And then what would you do or have to imagine to take it down another couple of points? What are you saying to yourself of, oh my God, it's hurting, it's that same old feeling, why is it doing this? So turning down the internal dialogue and maybe replacing it with a dialogue saying, just relax, relax, relax. And notice if that takes it down another point. And keep on doing these questions, what would I need to do or imagine to take it down another couple of points? What am I saying to myself? What am I picturing? And what feelings am I generating? And if you're creating sort of like butterfly feelings, then let the butterflies out through your belly button. If you're creating tension, then imagine the tension made out of knots of spaghetti and try in vain to keep it tight and notice that it starts to undo by itself. If it's pins and needles, then cushion them or imagine that the electricians are coming to um, put some sort of... Uh, some sort of block in between the actual sort of feelings and how you experience it so that we can neutralize those and if you keep on keeping on practicing you can retrain your mind to stop focusing on what is happening and focus on what you want instead of how to learn how to be cool calm and collected maybe taking up something like yoga or tai chi to train your breath so that if you notice how are you breathing are you breathing from the chest which means that your diaphragm is not getting the full capacity of oxygen into the bottom of those lungs, which also is going to create um, some negative feelings throughout the body. See, sometimes we forget to breathe the way that we learned as a baby, and we go into this chest breathing, and we've got it down pat. So sometimes it's just relearning again and being aware of our breathing and learning to breathe just as a baby does. Great talking to you today. Bye now.